All right, we're going to wrap up our work with absolute value equations and inequalities by looking at a pretty good challenge right here, graphing the following inequality, the absolute value of y is less than x. What I really encourage you to do is, is to pause the video, try this on your own, even if you make a mistake, it's okay, and then unpause it and follow along as we'll solve it together. This is a a challenge that captures quite a bit. It even captures some things that you may not have formally studied yet. It's We're going to get into graphing two-dimensional inequalities, graphing lines, and even graphing systems of inequalities here. So there's a lot of stuff going on with this one. Before we start, I always like to think about what are some what is the collection of points that that would that would sort of satisfy this inequality? And so the absolute value of y means we can kind of ignore the sign of y, the positive or negativeness of y, and just keep in mind that those those values of y need to be smaller than x. So it seems to me if if we have some points out here, we have some values of y that are really close to zero, whereas x is three, four, and five, and so those values would work. Even as we get um, kind of larger values of y, as long as we're away from away from zero in the x dimension, in other words, so we have a somewhat larger value of x, it seems like some of those values would work as well. So my, my guess is we'll have maybe some values, something looking like this, is sort of what the collection of points might look at might look like. Um, another thing to think about is what are some points that definitely won't work? And the absolute value of y is, this, this is always positive. Okay, so how could a positive number be smaller than any negative number? It can't. So it tells me that all these points over here won't work because these are all places where x is negative and it would be impossible to have the absolute value of y be smaller than a negative number. Okay, so these are this is sort of your no zone, and this is sort of your your yes zone, or at least our hypothetical yes zone in there somewhere. So let's actually try to solve it and see see what our our guesses look like. And I'll erase some of this so we have a clean graph to work with. And when I like to solve an inequality, I like to split it into our two pathways. And the first pathway is the simpler one. The absolute value bars didn't do anything to y. y was positive to begin with. And so this is the graph of y is less than x. And that is going to look like this line in here with y being less than x. We're going to be looking at all these points down here. And eventually we'll have to remind ourselves that everything in the left half of the graph is going to be invalid um, because of what we talked about a couple minutes ago. But let's, let's, let's not worry about that for now. The second pathway we could follow is as if the, ec the absolute value stripped away a negative sign from the y. We can divide both sides by a negative 1. And we get y is greater than negative x. So that's going to look like this. That's going to be all these points in here. So when we graph something like this, what we really want to do is find the zone of overlap. And that's going to be in kind of in this triangle zone on the right hand side. So that's what it looks like our final solution is going to be. Um, the dashed lines imply these dashed lines right here imply that. Uh, points on those lines are not valid because this is a strictly uh, greater than, or strictly less than symbol that we're starting out with right over here. So let's go ahead and graph it up on Desmos and see how we did. And so I'm going to do the absolute value of y is less than x. And it looks like looks like we did okay. We do it looks like Desmos agrees with the work we did to get the triangular region that we got. 
What might also be interesting to think about is why, I'll shade some regions in purple, why these purple regions don't work. Okay, We talked about why the zone to the left of the y-axis doesn't work, but why doesn't the purple region work? Well, points in those purple regions have x coordinates that are smaller than the corresponding y coordinates. So for example, this point right here is 1 comma 5, and in that case the, the y value is larger than x, so that's why those points don't work. So looks like we did it okay, and that's a good place to stop right there.